Okay. And okay, I think we can go to go. I mean, uh, this part is done. Uh, cluster has been provisioned. Okay. Now, I'll be starting with our commands. Even today, I got one requirement. There is one problem in the case I worked on. Oops. US West. Two. Okay. Okay. So our cluster has been created. Now what I'm gonna do? HT cluster. US West two. Okay. In case it will get get a node group. It will give you the information about your node group. How many nodes we have given? How many uh, uh, minimum node? How many maximum node? What army we use? That information. Even we yesterday we discussed like, the same thing. Now, when I am displaying many number of clusters, right? When it is giving more than one or two or three clusters, in that case, right? We have to pick any one cluster for our use, uh, for our uh, uh, operations activity. Okay, for that we will be updating our cube config. For that, we'll be updating our cube config. So, what I will do, I'll copy this and paste it here. Oops. And okay, we have updated our configuration file uh, towards. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm just informed my uh, Kubernetes and uh, my machine says that I'm gonna work on HT cluster. So whatever from this point, right? Whatever I uh, execute, everything that will uh, based upon my uh, HT cluster basis. Okay, fine, guys. Now what I will do? I'll just uh, open one of my other uh, part. I'll move to the that, that, that directory because my uh, cube CTL, right? I have installed on that particular location. So once you have done right, directly come to this path. You can download cube CTL from that location. And I kept cube CTL here. Cube CTL get nodes. When you run this command, right, it will be giving you information about number of nodes part of your cluster. Yeah, up to this yesterday we completed i believe right we have completed in this point now i'm gonna tell you kubectl get pod when it gives pod it will just give you the containers related information as of now we do not have any pod with us so it's showing no resource found so now what i'm going to do i'm going to create a new pod i mean new containers so just for your understanding i'm telling it as a container but the actual technical term is pod okay i'm gonna create a new pod so kubectl create deployment okay kubectl create deployment iphone iphone image nginx i'm gonna use I'm going to you part one okay kubectl create a deployment this is a command to create new part actually so image, uh, when you give iPhone iPhone image here, it will automatically pick from GitHub repo. So you don't need no to need not to uh, do it in manual stuff. You don't want to download anything. You don't want to pull anything. Let this will take automatically from the, uh, the system existing system. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's created on part actually. All right, it's created on part. So you can. See, any cube, cube CTL get pod. See, you can see one pod has been created. Earlier it was showing us the no resource found. After we created, right, it is showing you one container. I pod has been created. Okay, so this is one way of creating a pod. Also, uh, maximum of Kubernetes activity, right. We will be doing it through a YAML file only. We have a YAML file through the YAML file only. We supposed to do, but yeah, something no that is advanced. Uh, so I'm not uh, touching on that part. 
it will make you guys confuse uh, in order to work on cube and yaml and all right you need to familiarize with the uh, different kinds of available you should be familiar with that part so i don't want you guys to make it uh, confuse but as of now what i will do i'll just log into this part now okay so cube ctl x ec cube ctl x ec hyphen it your part name hyphen hyphen slash bin slash bash this is the command in order to log into your part right this is what your command okay we are in windows computer it's take you to linux shell understood we can run linux related commands everything inside the pod containers so the high tech directory which has been created so apt update we can update our system which mean internet connection also is there into my pod i'm telling so this is how okay exiting from my pod right same command control pq the same command will help you to getting out from your container okay cube ctl describe there's another command CTL describe. Okay. When you give cube CTL describe part, it will give you the detailed information about each part actually. When you give describe part command, it will give you name of your part. Okay, namespace. So what is your node IP? This is not your uh, part IP. This is a node IP. We have backend, we are creating multiple nodes, right? It will show you which node it is, what is the IP of your node. That information will give you. Okay. And higher label. This is our high tech part is your label. And status is running. Okay. So IP address of your part 172, 31, 31, that 136. It's everything default. We don't want to worry. And what image we used? We used about Nginx image. Where it is downloaded. From Docker, it has been downloaded. Okay, Docker pullable. In this location, it's pulled the image. Yeah, all this information right you can get it from here okay and uh, there are some uh, including inbuilt uh, see here event you can find the logs what things are going on see it's step by step it's been explained pull the image successfully pulled start the container started the container created the container all this uh, messages right you can find it over here so basically uh, this events will useful for troubleshooting it's literally a log here we'll basically we'll manage the logs and we'll get the log related information at all okay fine okay up to now i think 